So just to bring Quentin up to speed, uh, apparently BET had some kind of mix up to where, I don't know, Keith Lee's seat got mixed up and he wound up being in the wrong seat or BET moved his seat and then Taraji P. Henson uh, had walked up to him and apparently she didn't know who he was or something like that. And um, it was just like this whole thing. It was just like this big mix up. And I guess he kind of felt embarrassed um, about the whole situation because people was kind of trying to make it seem like that she had played him by, you know, calling another dude Keith Lee and then going back over to it or whatever. And then he basically like responded and I'm going to read the super chat shortly. I appreciate y'all. He basically responded uh, on his own platform and he was just going over and saying, you know, what his thoughts were because he had dropped, he had dropped a flower or something like that. And it just wanted to become this big old thing. So I'm going to play his, his reaction to it. And then I'm going to also show her tweet afterwards that, you know, kind of speaks to um, whether or not she was real still, still disrespect anymore, anything like that. So let me get this up. <clears throat> All right, let me see if I can get it up real quick. All right, this is his thoughts on it. Last night was the BT Wars, and right now it's something on my mind. Let's talk about it. First and foremost, I want to start by saying I am not upset at Taraji P. Henson by any stretch of the imagination. And not only that, in my opinion, she smoked it last night. I don't think for one second Taraji had any ill will or any ill intentions behind the situation. The situation happened the way it did. It is what it is. I made a video last night where I had the rose that was given to me in my hand and I let it fall on the floor. The reason I did this had nothing to do with Taraji P. Henson. The reason I dropped it on the floor is that I wholeheartedly believe that wasn't my rose. That wasn't my rose. That wasn't my moment. It was given to me, but it wasn't mine. And I always say, I don't want nothing that ain't mine. I want was meant for me, nothing less, nothing more. The entire segment on the production side felt extremely rushed. Not only did it felt rushed, it did not feel intentional. It did not feel purposeful. I'm forever thankful for every room that I'm in. I was more than thankful and more than grateful to just sit there and enjoy the show. Me and my wife, we looked amazing. We felt amazing. We was enjoying the show. I've always spoke about my social anxiety. And for me, just to get out and be in that moment was more than enough for me. So to take me and my wife out of our seats, Put us in different seats. Give Taraji no direction to who we are or what we do. Felt extremely unprepared and unprofessional to me. I'm personally a fan of Taraji. I've been for years and I always will be. I love to see her get the recognition that she deserved in that moment. And had a platform and a stage that she's always deserved. For this situation to take away from her moment and our moment was unfair to both of us. And another example of this is a picture of my wife has been going around. And it was a small part caught from an entire moment to make it seem like she had an attitude with Taraji. My wife and myself understand the flirting that Taraji was doing was fully improv and fully joke. It was a hard situation for all of us to be in. We fully understand she made it up on the fly. I was there to just enjoy the show. I was invited. No situations and in life in general. I never longed for the spotlight. If I wanted the spotlight, I would have accepted a quarter of the opportunities that's been presented to us. But none of those opportunities were for me or my family. If you understand that, you understand it. If you don't, I'm okay with that. I'm always gonna be myself. I've always been myself. Nothing about this journey, about this ride, about where we at or where we gonna be is gonna change me. Never have and never will. Never once was I upset that Taraji didn't know who I was. Everything that's for me will be for me. Everything that's for my family will be for my family. Everything that's for you will be for you. When it's supposed to be, how it's supposed to be, with no confusion. I said that last night and I was still misconstrued and I stand on it a thousand percent. Whatever room I'm supposed to be in, whoever's supposed to know me, whenever they're supposed to know me, it will happen how it's supposed to happen. Last night, while I appreciate the opportunity, it wasn't my moment and that's okay. I'm cool with that. And for every single person that's been on the journey with me and that's still on the journey with me, I'm forever grateful. I appreciate y'all. I can't say it enough. God bless you. Have an amazing day. Y'all be safe. So that was his general sentiment about the whole situation. He said that BET kind of messed up he wasn't trying to throw Taraji P. Henson under the bus. Um, you know, his wife wasn't off offended by it or anything like that. So any thoughts on this in particular? So all that because of mix up on the seats? Well, again, you got it. You well, know, I was the love you got to see it. Production. It was like an improv and she called somebody else him. And was and then you know was like oh you Keith Lee and all of this other type of stuff and so people kind of like had um, like kind of secondhand embarrassment for it and then you know he kind of addressed it or whatever so on and so forth so that was kind of the, the general sentiment of what was going on. Yeah, she played it off horribly, like horribly, man. It was 
Yeah, it was it was kind of bad. I mean, the whole award show was tra- was trash. Yeah, they usually are, but you know, it is what it is. It was like one year where it was decent, but for the most part, BET always dropped the ball because they always over the top. It seemed like they always trying to. I don't know what they be trying to do, man. It, it's just never good. Yeah, this but, is the tweet know, she put up. So after you know the roles and all of this, um. She says, life is really too short for this behavior. He wasn't in a seat. They give celebrity assigned seats. I rehearsed all damn day to go hit my mark, and that young man wasn't in a seat, so he missed his moment. His ego was hurt, and he will be fine. I cleaned it up at the end of the show. No love lost here. God bless. That's what she said. Hmm. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. I said she over that. The, she, over the ahead, she, she over the top, and she out of line. Dude clearly wasn't that bothered by it. He was just saying, like, yo, this wasn't right. Like, so I'm not going to accept it. I don't blame him. Yeah. I I said, in my opinion, um, first of all, I don't even think that she should have even said this in the first place. Yeah. Because, first of all, obviously it was a BET mistake. But then it was like she was still trying to throw shade. In that, re- in that regard, me personally, and I know this might be – debatable maybe not in other people's minds i think that keith lee is way more relevant than taraji p henson i agree Uh, yeah without a doubt and so people thinking that these celebrities that is supposed to be movie stars or whatever like that is popping like that i don't think that they realize that they are way they they are way more eclipsed by some of these people that is built up their own following out of the mud like a Keith Lee. Like, you can say what you want about how he talks and, you know, whether or not he weird or whatever like that. But in reality, Keith Lee is much more relevant than Taraji P. Henson. Taraji P. Is, is, was begging for people to give her, her her flowers and trying to get people to go see that trash-ass color purple that didn't even do no numbers. When Keith Lee show up, that shit is a mob. Oh wow! Keith Lee, oh, Keith Lee can make and br- make or break a restaurant, bro. Taraji can't do that. Yeah, no one's checking for Taraji anymore. Antonio no Watkins said you disagree. Why would you disagree? Pull hey, up, listen, hit, listen. Hit the link, call in, and, and explain. Listen, it's, listen, it, um. Content creators and streamers that at the that are the best at what they do, they're way more relevant than these movie than these pretend celebrities slash has been B list C list movie stars. Taraji P. Henson ain't been. Uh, I don't know. Well, Keith Lee like gotta go struggling. undercover just to go into a restaurant, and he can literally put them on the map. When a oh, Keith Lee, crazy. matter of fact, you, you use somebody like a Kai Sinat, right? Kai Sinat oh, shut yeah. down the whole fucking New York City, bro. Yeah, he did. He did, for sure. Yeah, that dude just blew up out of nowhere. That was kind of... I don't even know what he what he do. He might as be on YouTube. I think he's a video game streamer, just like... What's his name? Uh, them dudes that... Like, uh, what's his name? He used to play 2K. Uh, the white dude. Um, he used to play 2K all the time, and then he just started doing all type of weird stuff. And he well, started getting do, do popular. They? Do those people make money like playing Madden? Do who, shit? Like, do who make on, money? What? On, on, <laughs> online, like. Do well, I know, I, but I'm talking about like the online gamers. Like, or do they make money online? Is that like a? They're the biggest streamers. <laughs> That's okay. uh, they're the biggest streamers. Like man, Agent Agent Zero. I mean, not Agent Zero. Agent um, Double Double o, Man, he was like. He was the biggest 2K streamer, and then he uh he just he just started. They just trans Aiden Ross. Thank you. Listen, yeah, it's a, it's a reason why they trying they to just do transition, it. man. It's a reason why they trying to do what the streamers is doing now, bro. Man, bro, man. They they try yeah, to go over to this way. Ain't nobody trying to go over there and do what they do. I'm yeah. telling y'all, nigga, gamers, about to, gamers this is a bad man. nigga. I'm about to quit, nigga. Shit, dog. Let me tell you something. I think y'all get a lot of these. These actors be broke. Yeah. They be broke. They, they, be, they be broke. They, they be begging for an opportunity. Why I'm not making this or whatever, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. And these act these hoes be tapped, bro. Now these streamers. 
Man, let me tell you something, bro. It's the reason why they all trying to do what we do. They, they, look, Ed Taraji will always have a job. The, what you, okay, so she always going to be working for, some, listen, it's different. The, the money that these streamers is getting is different. The, the fame, the relevancy, the real core. See, the difference is that these streamers and people like Keith Lee, they built they, they built their core audience on their own. They people fuck with them. In real life, they really, really fuck with them. Man. In real life. Like, ain't no, you ain't got to worry about that. They, they fans is with them for life. These little actors begging for a job, man, they ain't got two niggas to rub together. They be losing their crib. As soon as they went on the actor strike, most of them dudes was on, on the internet begging. They did that actor strike, that, that writer's guild junk, man, them people was tapped. Yep. And they still, they still really been fucked up. So I don't know what y'all talking. Keith Lee is way more relevant than a than a Taraji P Henson. Ain't nobody going to see Taraji's movie. Keith Lee show up to a city and it's a mob. When Keith Lee show up to a city, everybody, all of the restaurants get their shit together. People be scared I mean, that he gonna walk in and give them a bad review. I'm gonna be honest. If if, if we gonna keep it a hundred, Taraji P only really known for being a hood rat. That's what I'm saying. I don't, know, know, like, I don't know why, why people in the chat will sit there and tell me that uh, Taraji P is more relevant than a Keith Lee. No fucking way. Mm -mm. And no, on no planet mm -mm. in the universe. Mm -mm. What's up, Antonio? What, what you got going? What's up, bro? What you think? Antonio, can you hear us? Antonio, you live, bro. I got you on the stream. Antonio, you on the stream, bro. He probably don't even know what's going on. Antonio, you on the stream, bro. What's, <laughs> up? what's happening? <laughs> you can't hear nobody, bro. All right, Antonio, call back, man. That's Antonio Watkins? Huh? That's Antonio Watkins? He where? Yeah, I know he from Detroit. Yeah, that was Antonio, <laughs> Antonio Watkins. I was waiting for him. What are you doing, man? Why? You don't want the candle to be burned? Oh, man. I mean, he did he wants it. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, it's but, uh, right. here, I'm going to bring Antonio back on and see if he got something to say. Antonio, <laughs> can you hear us, bro? Oh, yeah, I got I get now. All right, what's the word, big dog? What's the word? Hold up, homie. Yeah. Yeah, what's up? What's up, Slim? Yeah, so I get what you I, I get what you're saying, you know, but I still feel like name wise Taraji is still bigger. And what circle? Not to the consumers, not to the people. Yeah, just in the United States, you know what I'm saying? Like Taraji name, if you go household by household, people still know Taraji more than let me, Keith let Lee. Let me tell you something, bro. If, and I ain't talking if, about the money. One, I ain't talking about the screaming said, or nothing like that. If both of them said that they was going to opposite ends of the city, Keith Lee would be mobbed. Yeah, because they, his his fans would, you know, they're more of them, of them. They, yeah. Oh no, they they're they love him them. more. That's what I'm saying. They they so want to see him more than they want to see the Taraji. I'm just saying. If he's right. getting more love and he's getting more pull. Then what makes you think that he's not more relevant? Nah, she, I, I saying she more relevant because people, more people know her. If he's more loved and he got more pull, what makes you think that he's not more relevant? Because more people know, more people know her. I don't think so at all. I, I like, think I, if I, think she like I, I, I believe, I believe because because of the different movies she was in, you know, people across the world know her. Not nah, saying bro. that, yeah. No, you don't think you don't think it's you don't think it's Europeans and uh, uh, Asians who don't who do, who, do, who know him. When Keith Lee drops you know, something, get, Keith Lee? when Keith Lee drops something, he'll get twenty million, twenty million views, bro. Right, God. and I'm and again and again, I agree with that, right? 
But I'm so just saying that, that he's more, more people relevant. just notarize it, though. So are you more relevant. relevant because you get more views? Yes. Okay. If, if, if that's the sentiment, then okay. When you can go to a city and you can turn that bitch out, yes, you're more relevant. But what I'm saying is when you name drop, when you can name drop, Either one, either name. To ride, people just gonna know to ride you more. That's what that's, and that's all I was saying. I disagree, bro, because it depends on the demographic. Listen, if if you talk to my daughter and you say Taraji P Henson, she gonna be like, who? Yeah, I think it's the, I think the Asian conceit, demographic. You talking about old people, but yeah. old people don't matter because them motherfuckers don't do shit. They don't go see her move when she in the movie. Ain't nobody going to see her. See, just because you talking about a specific yeah. demographic of people, but to the people that's actually that actually matters, that show up, that buy the tickets, that go to the restaurants, that spend money. And you say Keith Lee to my daughter. She, oh no, no, no! You know he over here. She know everything that fucking goes on and what's happening. So just because you can name drop somebody, you can name drop a lot of people. That don't mean that they're relevant. Yeah, as far as relevance. Okay, I, I agree. I agree with that though. I agree Rising with that. Ain't there. Yeah, my, my only argument that more people my only argument was just more people knew uh Taraji you didn't keep I don't think so. I think that more people of your generation may know him. But no, I don't think so. I absolutely don't. I think my daughter, my like, daughter like, never. So you, so you saying, so you saying that young baby. people, you saying it's way more. Even, young people ain't too. So it, it's it's way more Gen Z. It's young. It's way more Gen Z than the rest of the millennials, ain't X, tuned in to the BET awards, boomers. Bro. You do you know why he's getting invited? Because they're trying to get, become more relevant in the minds of the people that actually matter than the consumers. But like I said, I, I agree with that. But the way the way you saying it, I, uh, I, I I agree with all that. I was just again, my only argument was that more people know Taraji than Keith Lee. Now Keith Lee gonna bring more money, you know, sell out more. I agree with all that. So I think it depends on which demographic you're looking at, though. Like in, in the age, like with younger people, Taraji is not going to be as known. You know, with older folks who still like, who still watch movies, they not really still in the internet. Like my mom, like she's not into the internet. She's not going to know who Keith Lee is, but she know who Taraji is because she didn't see no, you know, they, she didn't see so many of her movies. So I, I, right, two things. So two like, things, yeah, two yeah, things can be true. Yeah, and and, and, and that's what I, and that's all I meant. Like, go ahead. Yeah, Keith. I, I think Keith Lee is is he'll, soon he'll eclipse even where Taraji is at. Soon, soon I don't. Will. I don't think and, that and he has an eclipse where she at. I think he's way more relevant, and he has eclipsed. No, no, relevancy. She's not relevant at all. Period. Like she's not relevant. Yeah, you're, like, you're yeah. When you she, yo, she, she yeah, we trying to sell stuff about. Listen, that's, bro. She that's can't true. even. She can't even. She's not even yeah. the leader in her own sphere. Yeah. She can't garner. She can't garner any attention. She can't like, even lead a fucking movie on her own. In her, in yeah, her, her own, own, in her space yeah. where she's supposed to be great, she ain't the. She ain't the top of the top, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. She, she been doing. She been doing a lot of crying and stuff. Relevancy. Yeah. If she wasn't whining yeah. all, all earlier the year when, when Color Purple came out, nobody would have even been talking about that shit. Right. That's facts. That's all facts. What What's the last movie that Taraji P Henson did that we remember her for? Before the color purple, what's her very last movie? Right before the color purple, off the top of your head. The like very the last movie. movie. I don't watch. I don't watch movies like that no more. Oh no! Like, I start watch watching TV anymore. like. No, no, no seriously, no seriously. All I watch is YouTube. No seriously. So like ninety-eight percent. Oh no 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 no! I bet you if we ask what's the last movie Denzel was in, we know. I don't. Empire. Denzel Washington was in Equalizer, bro. Stop, stop. Equalizer, you know. one, two, and three. <laughs> Y'all know. Stop. You I, do know. I never you watched know. it. I never watched it. I, I don't watch TV. I do not pick up. I, I don't pick up not one remote, remote ever. Movie I seen Taraji was that. Was nah, it Demi, Acrimony, Demi, Acrimony Demi, Demi or something? Demi God, three, one, three is right. Like, like Taraji was never bigger than Gabrielle Union. 
And Gabrielle Union really wasn't even big until she married Dwayne Wade, for real. She She's she was popping big. in. She's still not big. Nah, she, don't do shit. she was popping in certain movies, but for the most part, like she wasn't popping like that as an actress. Gabrielle Union wasn't popping in nothing but bad boy or but bad boys. That's it. Nah, she got some roles where she was known. You know what I'm saying? She, Look at y'all. Y'all trying to argue to get these six relevancy. And th this dude is at the top. Everybody, Listen, for what he does, everybody is following in his lead. Everybody is copying behind him. He is the top of the top of what he do. And when he show up in a city, motherfuckers straighten up. These restaurants get their lives together. Because he can I make or this. break an entire restaurant. That's how much power That's he fair. has. That's how much power he has. That's power. That's absolutely fucking re uh, relevancy. Yeah, no, no, I'm saying Taraji don't have no relevancy. She's not relevant. She don't have no all. power to do nothing. She yeah, she's not no, relevant no at all. Power at all. Zero. Zero zilch granada. She don't even have the power to even determine whether or not she can. She was complaining about getting, <laughs> getting a driver or a fucking Uber to her movie set when she was shooting The Color Purple. She has no power whatsoever, bro. Yeah, I think Empire was her talk. So ain't no way in the world that y'all can convince me Damn. that she's more relevant than Keith Lee. She's not. Okay, I and can I see. And I, and I think that people are really missing the mark and they don't understand how relevant these streamers are, bro, or these these... These so these influencers, the real, the big ones, they don't know, man. It's it's a whole nother movement, bro. It's a whole nother wave.